Hi everyone, I recently had a question on how to extract the data into the repeating section in a form uh, using the workflow and then putting that into an email. So this will be a simple example. I'm gonna open up a form and design the form, put a repeating section on. Now I'll put, um, let's put a text short and an email and I'll just put a couple of controls outside the repeating section just so you see uh, what the structure of the form looks like in a workflow. So I've got our date time outside and I'm just gonna get rid of the one there and we'll call this uh, name and this email. So when we populate this, it's asking for a name in an email, but when you add multiple rows, what it's really becoming is a collection of name or an array of names and a collection of emails. So, um, so yeah, as I come here, I keep adding rows. There'll be a whole bunch of names and a whole bunch of email addresses. Now, what I want to do is grab all these names and put them in a bullet point list in an email. So how do I go about doing that? Well, let's go back to the workflow and look at how the form is sent to the workflow. So everything's sent to the workflow as variables. So if you come to form variables under start event, you can see it's an object. If you come to the object, you can traverse and you can see our date time control that we created outside the repeating section. Now inside a repeating section or the repeating section itself is actually a collection. Now it's a collection of rows. And so inside the collection of rows or inside each row is that property of data. So if you click inside the collection, you'll see name and email, but what these actually structured, um, they're a collection of name and a collection of email. So how do we get all the names and put them into the email? Well, I would start by putting a send an email action on and I'll put a recipient on there. Uh, there we go. That's my email and we'll say list of names. And then I would come through here and set a variable, which is going to be um, a cumulative list of every name it finds as, it, as it's going through the repeating section. So I'll call this a HTML list of names. So go ahead and create an insert. Now our send email action is ready to go. What we need to do now is loop through each of those rows to find um, each of the names. So, so first loop for each, I'm gonna drag it on properly, loop for each. And your target collection is the start event, form variables, repeating section. So we're adding all of our rows into the workflow first. Then once we've got that, it'll loop through each row looping through each row, looking for something. What is it gonna do? It's going to find um, all the names and add it to that variable we created here. So if you think about that variable that sits outside of this loop, it's like um, it's like a shopping list. It just, every time it finds a name, it adds it to the bottom. It'll add it to the bottom. So how do we do that? Well, I use a set a variable um, value action. Then I set where I want the, um, the value to be updated. Then I need to say, well, every time, first add the value that we've got for this variable. So it's sort of referring to itself. So workflow, HTML list of names, insert that first. Because if you just said, oh, when you find a name, put it in there, it'll delete the last name. And every time it finds the next name, it'll delete the last name. So what we want to do is to say, first, get the list of names you've found so far, add another one to the bottom, add another one to the bottom, and so on and so forth. So first we add the variable that that variable put in the email. And then we're gonna say li, which is HTML for um, unordered list. And then we need to put in the variable we what we find when we're inside that um, repeating section row. And so if you come down to loop for each, so this is the action where it's looping through the rows, loop for each object, current item, because it's the current row it's on, and then click insert name. So it's gonna insert the name that it finds. Then we're going to close off that HTML and that's pretty much it. So that's all it needs to do. So the data gets submitted in a repeating section. The loop for each will then go through each row. Through each row, it's going to add uh, each name it finds to the bottom because we appended the, the variable we created down here. Once it's finished, it then goes and sends the email. So we'll go ahead and publish. Now, you could build something even more complex. If you really so desired, you could probably create... Um, you could probably create a HTML um, table if you really wanted to do that's probably for another video. So we're gonna call this um, uh, looping on a repeating section. We'll go ahead and publish this and we're gonna run it and then I'll receive the email and we'll have a look at that in a moment. So I'm gonna open up that form 
And I'm going to put a bunch of names in here. Don't really need the, the date. That's fine. Uh, Jane. Jeff. John. Jerry. Um, Jack. That'll do. So we've got some names in there. We press submit. And what that's happening is the workflow has been submitted. It's looping through all the name, all the rows. It's getting the name out, adding them to that variable. Once it's finished, it's going to send me an email. And so if I click on my email here, and now you can see we've got an unordered list of all those names come through. So it's pretty, it's pretty simple when you think about it. It's just knowing how to actually do it. So I hope you find that useful. Uh, thanks for, thanks to George for calling that out. He um, he came up with the idea for the video. So. Hope you find that useful. Uh, certainly let me know in the comments. Cheers.